What I'd like to start with, always subject to whatever you feel like discussing, is it seems that Governor DeSantis in Florida, while not having announced, is putting together quite the campaign pitch with his policy decisions. And my question to you is, do you believe he has this secret sauce to beat Trump in the Republican primary? All right, I'll get to that in a moment, but happy birthday to your daughter. I hope Thanks. you got her something nice, Cuomo. Yes, she's got a nice gift, actually, I'm, I'm two glad. coming. And secondly, I'm in the city here, uh, coming into the News Nation studios. I opened the door to come in, and there's a giant poster of Dan Abrams. Yes. It frightened me. Why? It frightened Too me. Too smart? No, Too handsome. I, I just, I, I looked at it and I said, Wait, is this Uncle Ted's ghoul school or what? Ooh. He needed some makeup. Wow. Boy, it's big. It's big. It's bigger than your poster. He's big. Uh, you, you might get your agent on that. Whose poster? I'm lucky to be here. The, my right. poster was originally like around the garbage can. Now, uh, the reason I mentioned Abrams and Cuomo is it's like Trump and DeSantis. See the segue? Which one am I? Okay. Um, it's the rivalry. It's oh. the try to capture the attention of the audience, the Republican audience. That's what's going on here, okay? So you have one guy, Trump, who is ahead in most of the polls, mm -hmm. and then you have a very successful governor of Florida, DeSantis, who would like to be president, right? Now, it looks to me like they're going to square off in a primary, and that will be fascinating because they'll have to attack each other. Now, I know you just interviewed Pompeo and you asked him uh, of the all important question, which you need to answer for DeSantis in advance. Here is Bill O'Reilly interviewing Mike Pompeo. Uh, and it's really the only question that matters right now. If you're thinking about being president, you have an R after your name. Here's a clip. You're willing to go up against Trump? I mean, you know, he, he doesn't like people uh, going up against him, as we saw with DeSantis yesterday. Yeah, no, he'll, he's already suggested that someone who runs against him who served would be disloyal. I just, I don't see it that way. This isn't about him or me. It's about the country. And yeah, we certainly I'm, I'm happy to run. There'll be lots of folks get in. Uh, we should all go make our case if we're going to run and let the American people sort it all out. What'd you think of the answer? I thought it was a good answer. Pompeo's a very smart man, certainly qualified to be president. I think he's an honest guy and I've known him for a while. I've done some business with him. He helped us with killing the killers and everything he said to me writing that book was true. Um, so he's formidable. But the problem is that Trump sucks all the air out of the room and people have to raise money. So DeSantis can raise the money. I don't know if Mike Pompeo can raise the money. I certainly know that Nikki Haley, who announced today that she's going to run, which is good for the Republican Party because of the diversity thing. She can't raise any money. So she'll be like Amy Klobuchar. She'll be up there, but she's got not going to win or get any kind of traction. She's just doing it to, to put herself in a place to get known down the road. So it really is, at this point, Trump versus DeSantis because of the money factor. You've got to raise a billion dollars, mm -hmm. a billion dollars to run for president in this country. That's insane. Early on, people around Trump were saying that DeSantis wouldn't run against him. Uh, that could still be true. No, I don't think so. I he hasn't this, announced. Doesn't matter. DeSantis is raising money. He's going all over the country. And you don't do that if, if you don't want to do it. Run. Yeah, it's true. Of course, he can have it both ways. He can go around the country, increase his profile, and then decide ultimately not to run and say Florida matters too much. We've heard governors do that before. Um, now, the big question is, does he have the secret sauce? And my suggestion to you for the purpose of debate will be he is doing a better version of Trump without the bombast, without all the noise and all the mistakes, but he is actually more intense on policies. We never heard, you know, Trump would say, oh, we gotta be careful about education in America, not get rid of AP African-American studies uh, and be so threatening about it that they actually start removing things from the core curriculum. You never heard Trump say, get rid of these books. DeSantis seems to be the steroids version of Trump, not with the mouth, not with the talk, but with the walk. Does that work? It works to a certain extent, but you have to understand something. Donald Trump has never been a culture warrior. He's not an ideologue. He's not a conservative. DeSantis is a conservative. 
There's a big difference between Trump and, and DeSantis in the ideological world. Trump's not a conservative. He's never been a conservative. But why is DeSantis a conservative? I mean, wanting to ban... Because he wants to be. But, but just because you say it, it's like you could say, well, I'm a conservative. Wait, wait, are you, you disputing that Ron DeSantis is a conservative? Well, in defense of conservatives, uh, banning Lord of the Flies... That's not a conservative okay, well, position. Hold it, hold it. Banning Brave New World to kill a mockingbird? That's not conservative it's positions. overall how he governs Florida, okay? He governs as a conservative. The culture war issues are smart for him to embrace. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.